Hi, thanks for tuning into my Materialize how-to video. In today's video, I want to talk about using the Materialize effect globally across many different instances of meshes and materials. Uh, basically, like if we have grass and trees, any kind of foliage types, if we wanted to have, you know, how do we control all those meshes at once? So I want to show you a new feature that came out uh, with the Materialize pack. If I'll open up the uh, voxel, uh, I have a new Materialize parameter collection, an NPC, that we can use to uh, tie into the effect now. So uh, that's also found here, the NPC materialized. So that's the global parameter that we use to uh, drive everything. So negative one means it's off. It's going to take the uh, the instance set of that material. And then if you the global um, material parameter collection is used, that overrides any locally uh, instances settings. So that's how that's been uh, structured. And to use that, it's pretty simple. So basically what I'll do is I have a, a tree. I got some cool little trees here I downloaded here from the marketplace. And I want to go ahead and change the um, uh, material inside of it, the material materialized voxel up like we usually do in other models. And from there, I'll go ahead and go to the landscape tool and go ahead and paint me, or sorry, the uh, foliage tool and drop me off uh, some of these trees up here. That looks good. And I'll paint me some there. So there we go. I got all those trees in there. And what I want to do is I want those to materialize. So the next thing I need to do is, well, I've already got the voxel up, and so I need to drive it. So the easiest way to do it for the video's sake is let's go ahead and open up the level blueprint. I'll open that up. And what I want to do is uh, create a timeline. So on this timeline, I want to do timeline, create a new one. There we go. And let's say materialize, materializer. There we go. I like that. So on play, we'll do this. And let's go ahead and make the graph that this is going to spit out. We need a float track, and that's going to be called materialize amount. I'll do out just so there's no variable uh, conflict. And uh, what I want to do is go ahead and add a couple points. Add key, add key, and add another key. I'll go ahead and do this one at zero, at zero, and then this one at one second will be one. And then we'll go back uh, to this one and we'll go at time uh, two. This will be value zero, and then we'll go ahead and scale the graph so we can see. Oh, click off the graph. There we go. All right. Now, we're basically, all we're going to do is go up and back down over a second, and we'll go ahead and hit this as a loop. So it'd be easy just for testing. So we'll save that. And awesome. Pretty simple. And what we need to do is go ahead and drive this new out materialized amount into the material parameter collection. So we'll go ahead and right click and hit set scalar parameter value. Voila. Update. And we choose the collection MPC underscore materialize. That's our global one that comes out in this new update. And then uh, we'll go ahead and select the materialize amount and drive it into here. Compile, save, and I believe that's it. Let's test it out. Hit play, and boom. Look at those trees go up and down. There we go. All right. That's a... Uh, there you have it. That's you have it. That's how you can get the 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 effect to work across a global amount of foliage and instance meshes, uh, meshes is with the new material parameter collection. So that'll uh, come out in an update soon or already has been sent out depending on when you watch this video. Again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And thanks again. Bye.